welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will understand design and simulate a current divider circuit before going into this tutorial request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below a current source with is amperes of current is connected in parallel to pair of resistors with resistance R1 and R2 respectively. Now the equivalent resistance value is given by R is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. The voltage is calculated V is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into the I of S amperes. Now I of 1 is equal to V divided by R1 which is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into I of S and I of 2 is equal to V divided by R2 which is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 into I of S. From the KCL we know that I of S is equal to I1 plus I2 that means the current through R1 is given by I of S times the ratio of R2 to R1 plus R2 and the current through R2 is given by I of S times the ratio of R1 to R1 plus R2. Now you have seen this particular circuit. Now we have to design an equivalent current divider circuit for this particular design and uh, later on analyze and simulate the design. Now you can see the equivalent calculation which we had done. Now the resistor R3 is in series with the resistor R1 where R1 and R2 resistor are in parallel. So the equivalent circuit will be 2 kilo ohm and the resistor Rb is equal to R7 plus the resistance R5 and R6 which are parallel. So the value of Rp is equal to 5 kilo ohm. Now click on source and select the signal current source and we have to select the DC current and place this particular DC current on the schematic window. Now we have already calculated the equivalent circuit and we have to place the various resistors. Now double click on the current source and define the value as 2 milliampere and click OK. Now click on basic and select the resistor value as 2 kilo ohm, 5 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm. So now click on 2 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor on the schematic window. Similarly we have to place a 10 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window. So place the 10 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window. Next we have to place a 5 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window and place this particular resistor as shown in this tutorial. Now double click on resistance R8 and define the label as RA and similarly double click on resistor R10 and define the value as RB and also double click on resistor R9 and define the value as R4. Now 
click on source and select the indicator now we have to position the amp meter for this particular design this amp meter will help us to read the current value across the resistor RA across the resistor R4 and across the resistor RB now we can flip or rotate this particular ammeter 90 degree clockwise as shown in this tutorial now click on source and select the power sources and place this particular ground connection on the schematic window now connect the resistor ra to the ground and connect the current source i1 to the ground connect the resistor r4 to the ground and connect the resistor rb to the ground now connect the resistor ra to the ammeter and from ammeter u1 to ammeter u2 and from ammeter u2 to u3 connect the ammeter u3 to rb resistor and ammeter u2 to r4 resistor and connect the current source i1 to the ammeter u1 and u2 now let us run this particular simulation you can see the value of current i1 i2 and i3 which is 1.2 milliamperes 0.24 milliampere and 0.5 milliampere so the theoretical value matches with the simulated value thank you for watching this tutorial I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.